1981, the film Gregory's Girl was released. It told the story of a gawky 17-year-old's quest to find love. I played the role of Susan, a friend of the football-playing leading lady, Dorothy. 33 years later, the school featured in the film, Apron Old High, in Cumbernauld near Glasgow, will be shutting its doors to its pupils this summer for the last time. And when it does, a chapter in British cinema history will come to an end. Gregory's Girl has been voted as one of the 50 greatest British movies of all time. What was it about this simple tale of unrequited teenage love that struck such a chord? I'm in love. Since when? Half an hour ago. It was a coming-of-age tale, a quirky yet realistic look at what life is like as a teenage boy when all that matters is, of course, girls. Look, Charlie, we've got to get some girls. We've got to make a move. Rap Buchanan played Andy in the film. His chat-up lines definitely needed some work. Do you know that when you sneeze, it comes out your nose at 100 miles an hour? Do you see any similarities in yourself and your character in the film? Absolutely not. <laughs> this is Rab's first visit to the school since he filmed Gregory's Girl. It's quite emotional. I'm fiercely proud, you know. Um, me too. I mean, it's, it's a big part of me. Nobody had any idea how it was going to do. It was non-violent, because that's all that was coming out of Glasgow or Scotland at the time, you know, so it was like a big breath of fresh air. The film didn't just shine a light on how adolescent boys felt. Dorothy, who was the target of Gregory's adoration, fought her way onto the all-male football team. Modern girls, modern boys. It's tremendous, look. All the girls in the film knew exactly what they wanted and how to get it. And in the end, my character Susan, with a little help from her friends, managed to grab her man. Well, boy. And everyone was happy. You know, this is really good. I'm really enjoying myself. The movie didn't just celebrate the reality of being young in the 1980s, it was a reflection of urban life at the time. Cumbernauld, a new generation. The film had the unlikely backdrop of Cumbernauld, a new town built in 1956 to accommodate overcrowding in Glasgow. Adam Smith is a community councillor in the area. The film helped to publicise Cumbernauld at a time when it needed it most for people to invest in the town. Certainly a huge part of the town's uh, history and it, it will be for forevermore. And do you think people that have seen the film now come here looking for a bit of romance? <laughs> um, I, would, <laughs> I would say that's probably a, a false optimism of, of the film. Cumbernauld continues to grow today and Abram Hill High is due to close to make way for a new and bigger school. So to see it off in style, we're putting on a special screening of the film. I've even managed to find another cast member. Oh, well, fancy meeting you here. If I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through a window. Along with Douglas Sanison, who played Billy the window cleaner, and Rabbi Cannon, many students from the school and people from the community have come along to watch our special screening. So what did Cumbernauld's 21st century adolescents think? Do those cringy moments still take place? It's exactly what it's like now. It's kind of funny to see it on a screen. I personally can relate to it, um, admittedly, and I think there's quite a few other uh, boys of my age who can. Gregory's Girl was a huge hit for everyone involved. The filmmakers, the cast, and most importantly, Cumbernauld. And although Apron Hill High is about to close, it will remain forever in the film as a reminder of what it's like to be a teenager and the quest for true love. Because some things never change.